John here and what we're going to do in this session is just have a quick look at two-point perspective drawing. Two points. Remember we looked at one-point perspective drawing which is why we were looking directly down the street, directly down uh, the room to see the, um, the, the single vanishing point that is just directly opposite us at our head height. Um, this one is taken into account when we look at things from an, from an angle so things aren't running directly parallel to us but they're, they're uh, oblique angle to us um, and so this is what we do so just imagine that's the shape of the thing looking directly at us and the, and the lines are running parallel but if we turn the object then the corner becomes oblique to us so the lines are in different directions just going to look at cubes to start with and then we'll move on to house shapes so first of all we need our um, horizontal line, I might even put some glasses, which is, remember, it's our vanishing point. And um, the vanishing point normally went in the middle, but what we're going to do now is we're going to put two points at either side. And we're going to put a line across the, um, the horizon line, the eye level, and then we will join up with some construction lines, and we can use a ruler to do this because it sometimes ends up being a bit too long. Uh, we can use a ruler just quite faintly to join up our ex, um, the lines of our shape. This is going to be a sort of a cube shape, and all we need to do is remember that vertical lines, vertical lines are always, in this instance, the learning curves are they're going to be parallel. So we've got that, that. That, put my ruler on the point and then just join that up to the top and the bottom and we'll do that at this point here as well and then we'll do another vertical line at some other point so then that shape there becomes an object that we're looking at from um, with where our horizon is within the size of the building if we're looking down on it or it's above us it's the, it would be the same sort of thing. But we're just going to look at drawing a simple street scene here uh, or, or whatever, um, doesn't really matter. Um, so if we imagine a, a, the road is coming down here or the pathway, then we'll draw some more lines as if the road is coming out from, from that point there. And it is to do with our the, sort of our peripheral vision a little bit there. A road coming, if we, if we turned our head and moved a little bit, then the road might come from the, the central vanishing point, but we're not going to worry about that too much. If we, what we want to do now, actually, is put another building around about, we'll do it here, over that vanishing point, and we'll make it the same height. And that will, so if it's the same height of that, as that building, it will follow from that corner there, it will go down to the vanishing point down there and um, what we'll do is we'll make it a little bit narrow so we can see a street in between and we'll just make this we'll give a another line here okay so these aren't really necessary now so this is the next building we'll just rub those out that'll give it a little bit so it becomes quite clear so the next building we've got this vertical line that's closest to us and then we'll just make some construction lines from the outer vanishing points and then we'll drop a line down for our second building okay and again these don't matter anymore we'll just rub them out for the moment and so we end up with our nice um block block shapes um they don't have to be buildings but that, um, it seems to be simpler to describe them in this way now uh, we could have a road coming down here in between the two and so we go from that vanishing point and we're going to make a sort of a crossroads going across behind that building there and so this then becomes our crossroads for the buildings 
that we're going to build at either side. Now, a, a, a wonderful little trick is, well, buildings aren't always the same height. Um, what they are, they're often, often behind each other. So if I put a line up here, okay, and it's gonna appear as though it's behind the other building. So I've got the top of that line. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make it come down to the vanishing point at that side. And I'm going to make it come down to the vanishing point at that side. But I'm going to stop it before it gets there. Okay. And then I can put in some more vertical lines. I'm just going to drop a vertical line coming down here in between the two. And we'll decide where that is going to come to. We'll say, well, it can't be. It's behind this building, so it can't be in front of this line. So we'll just stop it a little bit higher up. And then what we'll do is we'll just drop that in there. So we can end up with, quite quickly, with blocks and buildings looking as though they're behind one another. We could do the same here. Uh, and take vanishing point. I'm just going to do some random sort of effects going here. And we'll drop a line down. We just sort of have to work out where it's going to go. It's going to be on that side of the road. And so I'm just going to pop it in here. So um, using a bit of hatching, I'm just going to shade that in. Just going to shade that in so we can see a bit more three dimensional quality to the work. Now, if there are windows, um, windows, uh, they're going to follow these lines as well. So, if we imagine like these, these beautiful glass buildings uh, that we have in Chicago, in London now, and Sheffield, then we can, if I rub all these out, because they're going to make a bit of a confusion to us, apart from the road. So from the vanishing point, I'm putting my pencil on the ruler there, slide the ruler up to the pencil and then go up to that first mark I drew in for the window and keep my pencil on there, and slide my ruler up to the next one and so on. Can you see, I mean, that what's happening? We're going to end up with some nice glass or lines for glass. Pencil on vanishing point, slide the ruler up. And do you see how the ruler is radiating from the vanishing point? And we get the stripes and they all look quite realistic. I'll do the same on this side. Actually, I'll show you what happens if you don't do that. If you think, well, win windows are level, what would happen is we, we, we draw these, then it sort of starts to look wrong if we draw them horizontally. The building starts to look wrong. The shape goes out. And the, the other mistake that, that's often made is that um, you think, oh, well, they're diagonal lines, so I'm just going to put in some diagonal lines. You start putting in diagonal lines and you continue those all the way down that doesn't work either we get um our brain sort of saying well the lines are diagonal and so i need to draw the diagonal but actually you need to make sure your diagonal lines are going towards the vanishing point so again on this side i'm going to keep my i'm just going to radiate the ruler from the vanishing point to those places I put the pencil on there, ruler on the vanishing point, and then we get the ideal form of radiating out. And that one there is actually ended up being horizontal because that's on the horizon line. And that's how it works. Now, 
Uh, let's just add to the picture because no doubt you'll be wanting to do a little bit more development. Uh, what about um, things that go in the street? Well, look at this now. This horizon line is saying that one, two, three, we're on about the fourth or fifth story. We're looking down on this scene from another building. And um, so what can happen? I'm just going to put in the that horizontal line again. So we do need to keep that because that will keep us in our space. Uh, so what can happen is we want some street lamps. Well, remember, street lamps are going to be a particular height compared with that part of the building there. Let's put a street lamp there and then we can put in the top of the street lamps and we can drop in between those two some street lamps going up there. We could even put in trees and, and gauge the height from the, um, the line that we've got going this way. Okay, so that's the first step into drawing two point perspective. I hope you enjoyed well, the glasses on. I hope you enjoyed that. And um, let's see, there's nothing else um, that we want to consider at the moment. Um, you'll be thinking, well, what goes on at this part and what goes on somewhere else? Well, we'll have a look at that um, in the future because um, actually, when it when when it's coming to this opposite this point, what we're doing is we're turning our head. Uh, to look at something and a picture doesn't really do that unless it's a cubist picture of course where a cubist picture would be showing all sorts of different perspectives um, but there we go hope you enjoy putting in your shapes thanks very much for watching see you next time <laughs>